Hello and welcome to another Cricut tutorial. My name is Nadine and welcome. Alright, so today we are going into the Valentine's theme and I'm very, very excited for this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to make this super, super cute Valentine's uh, little mailbox. So you can put little sweeties and stuff in there. And if you want to know how to make this, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, this design is available in Design Space, so you can access it and you can make it with me. So, let's go. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is we're going to go into Projects, because we are going to do a Design Space project for this tutorial. So, I'm going to do a Valentine's mailbox. So I'm going to search mailbox and then this kids mailbox is the one that I want to do today. So here is a little image of what the project will look when it's done and then just some more photos. Um, the preview is supposed to be here. I'm not sure why it's not previewing. Um, maybe it's my computer. I have been having a little bit of trouble with it um, for a few days now. But it's fine. I will show you guys the preview. Um, then we're going uh, to the bottom here. It says it's an intermediate project and it will take you less than 30 minutes. Approximate finished size so you can exactly see um, what your finished project would be you can even print out the instructions here at the print button so that's very nice um, so you don't have to go back and forth on your computer the whole time so that's awesome and then everything that you will need here premium white vinyl of course you are more than wel welcome to change the vinyl to the color that you want to um, foil poster board pastel color 12 by 12 inch and then cardstock pink pattern all right so basically that is everything you need on the material side and then everything else which will obviously be your machine your standard grip machine mat um, light grip mat single scoring wheel or scoring stylus reader transfer tape spray adhesive double sided adhesive hot glue or um, and embellishment pink all right so this is just optional um, so it's not necessary that you need this um, but this is the basic things that you need um, to finish this product so that's nice then it'll say preparation and then it gives you all the instructions of how to assemble your project um, which is very nice it's step by step which is awesome and then here's a little tip um, if you've never used vinyl before check out the link below in the more help section so if you are a beginner there we go you all sorted out you will be able to do this project so that is awesome all right but we are gonna go to customize so that i can show you guys the layout okay here is the layout so of course you can customize this any way you want you can change the color you can change the font everything you want you can change on here so there is actually a few things that i would like to add to this project so i want to do um actually i'm not going to customize it let's just see so this you've got mail will be your sticker so we're not going to cut this out of cardstock we're going to make this a sticker and then this will be we're going to use a, a cardstock with some hearts and stuff on for the valentine's theme all right so that is awesome um, we're not going to change anything at the moment but you can if you want to you can write on it you can put pictures on it anything you want you can do on here all right so next up let's see we're going to use the explore 3 so we're going to choose it there we go and then we're going to go and make it for this project we are going to use a mat because we're going to do cardstock and a small sticker and we're going to go continue 
now here we got our sticker so we can move it wherever we want to on the board I'm just gonna move it a little bit away from the edges um, which I usually prefer having it there um, actually I want to go back into my canvas quickly whenever I do a sticker I prefer to put a block around it it just makes it a little bit easier when it comes to weeding especially if you've got a little bit of a bigger piece that you want to weed it just it makes it so much easier so that you don't have to um, weed a, such a big piece and you don't waste vinyl okay so I'm just gonna move this backwards to make sure that the whole thing fits just like that and then I'm going to I don't want that I want these two and I'm going to just move that select and attach it so now this will cut as one which is exactly what I want so now we're gonna go to make it again on the mat and continue okay so this is perfect this is exactly what I want I'm gonna leave that as is now I'm gonna go to my second slide I'm just gonna check everything here looks fine as well and then my last slide I think I'm gonna change the direction of this so that we don't waste any cardstock so let's just move this a little bit to the middle and just there we go I think that's fine so we're gonna click back onto our first cut because we are gonna cut our vinyl first and then we're gonna go continue okay so for each slide or mat you can choose the different types of vinyl so for the purpose of this video we are going to use just normal i think we're going to use premium vinyl so premium permanent vinyl um doesn't really matter to me i just always choose glossy so i'm going to choose glossy there and then we're going to go um, default is fine i want don't want anything changed there and i'll be quickly going to set up our Okay, so if you guys um, want to know exactly which vinyl I'm going to use, I'm going to use this um, permanent Cricut Permanent Vinyl and it's got white in, so this is the white that I'm going to be using for the sticker for this mailbox. So let's put it on the mat quickly. Okay, so my mat is not sticky anymore so I'm just going to use normal uh, masking tape to just stick it on my mat I like to just hold my mat up a bit just so that it flows through the machine very easy. Okay, so we are just going to take it off the mat. And because I've made my little block, I can just easily see. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the camera. Um, I don't think so. Okay, I'm just going to cut out this piece that I need so that I can reuse the vinyl or something else. So there is the little piece that we need and we're just going to put this vinyl away and we can use it again. And let's just quickly weed our sticker so that we can make sure that it is ready for when we want to put it on our mail. It weeds 
so easy. Just look at that. Smooth, weeding, quick and easy. I absolutely love it. My weeding tool is a little bit old. So bear with me guys. So that is it. I hope you guys can see it now. There we go. Now it's more visible on the camera. There is our little You've Got Mail sticker. Now I'm going to be using the Cricut transfer tape to put on so that we can easily transfer this to our little mailbox. So let's do that. Once again, we don't need a big piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my sticker and I'm sort of just going to measure it so that I can just cut a little piece that I need. So let's see, I'm just going to use these grid lines as a guide and I'm going to cut what I need. And we're going to peel it off. to our little mailbox but we're just gonna put this aside for now okay so next up we've got our second um, mat well second slide that we're gonna do for this we're actually gonna use cardstock um, I'm gonna use this medium cardstock 216 grams um, for this project and I'm just gonna leave the default but what I want to show you guys is I'm actually going to be using this patterned cardstock. So on the one side it's got a pattern, but then on the other side it's white. So if you want your pattern to be on the outside, you are going to put it face down so that you can do your score lines and everything on the inside of your box, which will be the top. So let's just do that quickly. So we need to use our scoring stylus for this. So I'm just going to take my scoring stylus and I'm going to put it in my machine. There we go. I have already put my cardstock on my mat. Okay, so the right way would obviously be to use your blue mat, which is your light grip mat, but I'm just going to use my green mat for this entire project. Okay, so let's put it into the machine. Once again, I'm just holding my mat up so that it's easier to feed. It's not necessary, but I prefer it. Okay, let's take our card off. The easiest way to do this is so that in the event that your mat is still sticky is to flip your mat around and just shake off your cardstock this prevents it from bending so there you go and here is our little mailbox form so cute okay now we're gonna cut our other piece quickly so for this piece of the, the mailbox I'm actually using a textured cardstock there we go if you guys can see it so I think this is going to give a really good look um, to our mailbox and as you guys can see I'm actually using a piece that I've used for different projects so you can also save your cardstock
once again we are going to flip our mat over and there is our design and now we can use the rest of this card for another project again okay so now it's time for us to um, fold our score lines so now we're gonna go and I'm gonna use this little scraper tool of mine just to fold it because it makes it a little bit easier so we're going to start with this fold line here at the top and we're going to fold it in and we're going to use our scraper tool just to push the fold down like that All right. next we're going to do the sides we're going to do the, this one on the inside first we're going to fold it in once again take your scoring tool and just score it there we go just to make sure that it falls easy then we're going to take the second one which is this one which will be your outside score line also just fold it in take your scoring tool or your scraper and just there we go so now we've got very good perfect fold which is exactly what we need all right now we're going to do the other side once again this one on the inside here which we're going to do first Fold it in using our scraper tool. Then we're going to do the outside also. There we go, perfect. So, next up, we're going to do this one here, which will be your opening of your uh, little mailbox. Just going to fold it in and scrape with the scraping tool now we're going to do so you'll see there are all these little I don't know, edges so they all need to come in because this is what you will need to stick your mailbox on the inside to close it so we're going to do all of these just fold it in um, I think let's just also just use our little scoring tool just to get it in there there we go that is done and now the last one which is this one here we are going to just fold it to the inside and there we go perfect that is exactly what we want now we need to assemble our little box so first things first so our mailbox is going to look like this and we need to So now what you need to do is you need to take these sides and you need to glue them together so that it can give you a very strong side because this is what we're going to use to bring this over um, which is going to make your little like um, mailbox so you can I use glue I usually use this uh, mono glue or you can use double-sided tape um, which I'm going to be using today so that we don't wait for the glue. So I've got this um, Really cheap double-sided tape, which is literally paper thin So I'm going to be using this today to stick everything for this mailbox. So let's go First I'm just going to measure the length And then I'm going to cut it But this is a little bit thicker um, then what I need so I'm going to cut it in half again 
doesn't have to be straight of course um, just gonna cut it rough like this can of course also just use little pieces and put it here and there then you don't need all these big pieces pieces so I'm just going to stick it on here oh my it's a little bit long but it's fine and then I'm just gonna cut off the piece that I don't need we can always reuse this for something else and then we will do the other side as well um, a bit skew. don't want it skew so let's just move this up there we go also this one is a little bit long so we're just gonna cut it on okay now we need to take these pieces where's my reading tool um, I'm just gonna use this to lift the double sided tape and now you're going to just fold it in and stick it just like that and then we want to do the other side as well once again using my weeding tool um, you don't need your weeding tool just for you weeding you can literally use it for everything that you need to do in your crafting okay so that is the first step that we need so now that we've done our sides what we want is we're going to lift this over and it's going to stick to this like this and then you'll have your little um, mailbox but we need to bring this up so this will be sticking on the inside so we need to put double sided tape all around the edges here so that's what we're going to do now um, but I think before we do that it would probably be best for us to first stick this side so that we've got a foundation to work with so let's do that measure again to bring our little roof over and we are just going to stick it I'm gonna show you guys and we just stick it there so you want your flap to be on the inside so that you don't see it when your product is finished so I'm just holding it like that so now already we have this cute little um, mailbox so we just need to close it oh it's gonna look so cute so there is all our double sided pieces on the outside because we're going to stick it on the inside of our little box okay so let's just fold this in and then we need to stick it to the inside of our little box let's make sure everything is inside there we go so now the tricky part is to actually stick it inside so what I would like to do 
is I would put it down like this and then I'm actually going to take the back of my weeding tool and I'm just going to push it in so that it sticks and then do this all around so that the double sided tape can stick to the little roof of my mailbox just like that I find it's easier to do it this way and to use double sided tape because the glue to me makes it a little bit harder to stick things like this especially if it's something that you need to stick on the inside you have to wait for the glue to dry and it's just not always easy so to me um, this is much easier it's not necessarily quicker um, but in a way it is also a little bit quicker so it just works better for me okay so there we go our little mailbox is almost done oh you guys how freaking adorable is that look at the back so nice smooth okay so before we carry on we need to now put the little um i don't even know what you call it flag to show that we've got mail okay so for this one we are also just going to fold it so i actually want to use the texture side it's actually supposed to be on the inside but i want to put it on the outside um, i should have put it upside down on my mat but it's fine it's not that big a deal we're just gonna use the scraper to do that and then we want to glue this as well because you don't need it open we're gonna just close it with some double sided tape as well so with this i'm not going to use too much double sided tape i'm just going to put some on the end and in the middle um, so that we can make sure it really sticks and then I'm just going to put some pieces on the little um, pole as well okay once again taking the tape backing off oh, my hands are so slippery today and now we're just going to fold it in and let it stick There we go we've got our little flag now we need to make sure it's gonna fit right so that we can put our um, let's see so it's supposed to go this way so we need to put our sticker on now make sure our sticker sticks to our transfer tape To read out a piece here. No worries. Here we go. Return. Now we're gonna stick it onto our flag. Mm-hmm. 
Oh no. It's not supposed to happen. Now you can actually put this back onto your paper and you can always reuse your transfer tape. So remember that tip guys. Okay, now I'm just gonna just push it down with my finger to make sure it did actually stick. What I like to do is just to flip it around and just um, rub it like this so that we make sure that our sticker is not gonna come off. There we go, so there it is. So this piece will then go on inside just for like a little little mini carpet in there and then our flag will be on the outside. Okay, so now that our box is assembled, a little uh, mailbox, we can put our flag in which goes in these two little um, cut lines here so we're just gonna push it through like this oh it's going a bit tight but that is good that's what we want it means it's not gonna come off and there we go there is our super cute super awesome Valentine's mailbox now we can put some sweeties in and then we can just close it and there we go. So adorable. Alright, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it's in the love season. It's all Valentine's Day. So if you don't know what to do for Valentine's Day and you need to do something last minute, I would say this is definitely a winner. It's very quick to make, very easy to do so definitely um you guys should try it out if you haven't done so um already and this is available on design space so you can literally just go and make it um it's really really easy to do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i absolutely enjoyed making this um it came out super super adorable and i think it's so awesome and yeah, now I can just put some sweeties in and give it away as a gift. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.